Bruh, the news for the new year. Lit. What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? We're here, the first Obi-Wan Plays video for the new year, and we got a banger, bruh. But before we get started with the video, of course, give the stream a thumbs up. Let's get over 200 likes for the video, all right? Let's get to the first news item, all right? Through the Sony teardown video last year, we learned that the face plates are removable. And so, having different color face plates, almost a given. But it looks like one Reddit user is not waiting for Sony to officially release nothing, but rather coming out with this dope dope PlayStation model to pay homage to one of the greatest consoles of all time, the PlayStation 2. That's right, a play, no, not that one. We're gonna talk about that one in a second. A PlayStation 2, a PlayStation 2, a modded design for the PlayStation 5 will be available beginning January 5th. Pre-orders begin January 5th from a Reddit user, Super5. Now, we already know Sony sued a company who was trying to um, make face plates and shut that down. But by modifying, this is coming from PlayStationLifestyle.net, by modifying existing components of the console, Rather than manufacturing his own parts, Super 5 is hoping to avoid legal trouble. And so they're actually buying PlayStation 5s and custom and redes uh, redesigning the PlayStation 5s that they have bought. And hopefully they're trying to avoid legal troubles by doing so. But this does look dope, especially for dudes who have been clamoring and wanting an all-black PlayStation 5 why not get it with the um, design of the PlayStation 2 now? Love the, I like the white design, it looks clean. One thing I wish they would have added were um, the colors, the traditional, the OG PlayStation colors for the triangle, circle, X, and square. Who knows? Fingers still crossed for some kind of surprise software update where these buttons actually glow. How amazing would that be if all this time we're playing our PlayStation 5 and then like two years later, Sony's like, you know what? We got a surprise, boom, and they glow. I doubt it because dudes have already taken apart on uh, the controller and <laughs> there ain't no like LED lights or nothing behind there. But I think this is dope. Now, how much would this cost? Because they're buying the console and then modifying it, the console will cost 650 bucks and a dual sense controller will run you a hundred bucks so there is a markup uh, for the modifications but i think this still looks dope speaking of modifications and i accidentally leaked it for you guys bro do you want an all gold plated 24 karat gold plated playstation 5 well it looks like it is a thing. A company known as Caviar Covers. Caviar Covers um, is selling Sony PlayStation 5 in gold and, wait for it, crocodile leather. Look at the grips of the DualSense controller. That's right. That is genuine crocodile leather. And you already know it costs a whole lot of money because when you click on the website they do not show the price there is a link 
so you could fill out information if you're interested in finding out the price they want to know if you're interested but um, i saw one estimate where if this is true 24 karat gold and the crocodile leather skin this could be up where and it's customized it's um custom made in limited quantities this could run you up where up where up to a million dollars bro a million dollars for a ps5 there you go bro stunt on somebody go do it bro You're watching the video go and waste a million dollars <laughs> all right next news item and i thought this was such a dope move by sony bro whereas at first it was a struggle to get refunds for cyberpunk 2077 with all the mess that happened check out this good move by sony what they're doing to fans who recently bought man eater for the playstation 5 sony has automatically refunded you and you can keep the game check this out and here's why the game will be free in a couple days as a January free PlayStation 5 game for the PlayStation Plus subscribers. And since the game will be free, Sony was proactive. You didn't even have to request a refund. They automatically sent out refunds to customers who bought the game. That's a first. This is what the official statement by Sony um, says to fans who bought Man Eater. As a subscriber of PlayStation Plus, we will refund the purchase price of this product to your PlayStation Store wallet as this is a PlayStation Plus monthly game. This will not affect your ability to play the game as we have not removed the game from your library. Big shout out to Sony for this great customer um, uh, move. Uh, for the customers and so if you just bought man eater and because the game just got announced for a playstation plus subscribers you're going to get a full refund and you get to still keep the game which i think is pretty pretty dope all right next news item this is a pretty big one sony has announced the playstation 5 will be launching in india on february 2nd february 2nd february 2nd is where um those in india can finally get their hands on the playstation 5 now india is one of the most populated countries in the world bro i think only china has india beat and so a huge potential market for sony um playstation 5 will be launching february 2nd but hopefully 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 the supply chain gets a little better by the time february rolls around because we're already short on consoles here in the u.s now we gotta share it with india you know how many people are in india and so hopefully this doesn't affect uh the production line for u.s customers still struggling to find a PlayStation 5 console, but dope to see the console will be available in India. All right, we have some Nintendo Switch news item. That's right, the one game that is still on my radar on this Nintendo Switch, Metroid Prime 4. And it looks like we could get have gotten a launch year for the game 2023. All right, according to pre-order updates sent out by Amazon for those who have pre-ordered the game, because a lot of dudes like when they saw this trailer that I could have made, they saw this trailer, oh, Metro Prime 4, let me go hurry up and pre-order it before it sells out, even though you can get it digitally and it'll never sell out. But if you pre-ordered the game, you finally got a date uh, update, and it says as soon as January of 2023, meaning anytime in 2023, Metro Prime 4 could be launching. And again, still tentative, nothing officially confirmed by Nintendo, but any Metroid news is better than nothing. All right, and last but not least, we even have some Xbox news to start out the new year, bro. 
it looks like Ubisoft Plus could be coming to Game Pass, which will be a great value addition to the Game Pass subscription service. Um, this is um, being rumored uh, through Windows Central. They're hearing buzzing that Ubisoft and Xbox could be in the working to work out a deal to bring over Ubisoft Plus to Xbox Game Pass. Now, Game Pass already has EA access, those games. This will be a great addition. Possibly some big AAA Ubisoft games could launch day and date on Game Pass, possibly uh, through this deal. They're saying if this deal does work out, it wouldn't arrive to the service. Uh, it would arrive around late 2021. And I tell you this, and I'm gonna close the video on this. I think um, we know that the PlayStation 5 just sold 3.4 million units within its first four weeks on the market, which is crazy. PlayStation 5 is more than likely gonna win this generation, the console um, hardware sale, the race. Sony consoles always sell like crazy. But I think even if Xbox were to pull out and stop selling Xbox Series Xs, I'm not saying they're going to, but I'm saying even if they would, I think they would still be fine with their Game Pass subscription services. And so, it uh, looks like they're um, um, investing heavily into Game Pass. Um, Ubisoft Plus might be, and this is still in the rumor field, might be coming to Game Pass late 2021. All right, dudes, those are the news items for the video. What do you guys think about everything? Oh, also, also, on my gaming channel tonight, tonight, I'm going to be running some 2K, NBA 2K. Any sponsors who want to run 2K with your boy, hit me up. I added you on PlayStation 5. Let's go get it. Uh, my gaming channel is Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. All right. And I have to do this. I have to announce our giveaway winner. I'm going to do it live, live, live um, at, in this video right now. Let's go. I'm going straight to my Twitter. This was the giveaway tweet, and I'm just gonna scroll and pick somebody. Booyah! This person, whoever this is, JHF Noah. Yes, mom, get the camera. That's what he posted. JHF Noah, you are our giveaway winner. I'm gonna retweet. I'm gonna give you a temporary follow um, so you can get your $60 digital code for subscribers. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about? in the stream sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out happy new year you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me i gotta hook you up that's right i'm giving away a 60 dollars digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.